So the Sacramento Kings have had some tough times. DeMarcus Cousins broke his arm, as we can see here. That's never fun. Vladi has made some questionable moves, although I'd give the guy a break because he has a poster in his office that says the Vlad father. Uh, Vivek Ranadive dreams about 5-on-4 basketball, but guess what? None of that matters because De'Aaron Fox is awesome, and the Sacramento Kings in this 2018-2019 NBA season are currently good at basketball. And there are some things that have happened with this team where there have been some massive improvements across the board. There have been some big acquisitions that went under the radar this offseason that have been huge for them. But we're going to start with De'Aaron because I think he's the heart of this team. He is attacking the basket and then some uh, this season. Last year, he shot about two or three free throws a game. This season, he's up to seven a game. The dude just barrels his way to the rim. Seems like his ball handling has improved, and he already had a pretty tight handle. And he is using that handle to make the Kings the second highest team in the league in terms of pace. So right after they get a stop, and their defense has improved, and we'll talk about that, they are getting the ball to Fox, and he is just jetting down floor. And there's a lot of athletes around him, so... This team has an actual play style now, which I think is huge. Because even when you could say, well, some of these guys look interesting between De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald, Willie Cauley-Stein, whoever the hell else, they didn't have a distinct personality as a team. Now they do. They're going to run the ball down your throat, and De'Aaron Fox is allowing them to do that. He's way more efficient this year than last season, a lot of that because of the increased free throw attempts. Sure, the jump shot is not where you want it to be, but... If you just keep going to the basket, that makes up for a decent amount of that. Now what we got to talk about is Fox's playmaking. He's up to around 7 assists a game, which is a pretty big jump from last season. Dude's just growing into an all-around point guard. I mean, I remember the comparisons when he was coming up was like a prime Eric Bledsoe. So a dude who's like an athlete and he'll attack the rim, he'll make plays for others, and he'll figure it out even if the jump shot isn't totally there. It seems like that's coming true. And this team has really rallied behind Fox. I think he's the face of the franchise. I believe he's also a huge reason why their culture has pretty much done a 180 since they got rid of DeMarcus Cousins. And he's making everybody else look really good. But of course, it's more than just him creating for everyone. Uh, we have to now look at his backcourt mate in Buddy Heald. And I think it's safe to say that Buddy is having his best season as a pro so far. Kind of showing signs of what he was in college. Not that I expect him to put up 30 and 40 points a game, but it's just his shot making and his confidence. There were times when he would choose to not try to take a defender in a one-on-one, -on -one, or he would not shoot a jumper with a guy in his face, and... He's just a new guy now. And I think this is huge because I think there were stretches throughout his career when you would watch him play and you'd think maybe this guy is just a spot shooter and he can occasionally create his own shot, but that's not going to happen too often. Well, we are witnessing him rewrite that book as he's now up to 19 points a game on some extremely good efficiency. Funny enough, only taking five threes a game. I think he can be up for more than that. I would like to see him taking seven, eight, nine from outside, but still, it's working out for him really well. And I can say a similar thing for his teammate, Willie Cauley-Stein, who is also having the best season of his career. The athleticism was always there with him dunk over someone, running a fast break, catch an alley-oop. But where Willie has shown his improvements this year, I think is in his general awareness offensively. He's just in the right spot more often, which doesn't sound like a big thing, but when you combine it with that athleticism, it's kind of massive. He rolls to the rim more, he also just does it more effectively, he cuts at the right times now, Gets way more dump-off passes, beats bigs way more often in just transition plays. And I think his defense has been pretty alright as well. Sacramento is way better when he's in there as opposed to when he's not in. Some of these shots are going to go in, but the thing to notice is how Stein is just making a difference. 
There were times throughout his career where it seemed like he was just going to be a disappointment defensively, but now he's a better rim protector. He's doing a better job of keeping teams out of the paint, forcing up more floaters, mid-range jumpers, and it's allowed the Kings to be a mid-tier defensive team where for the last couple of years they were among the worst, if not the worst, and that's a pretty damn big improvement, and I think Willie is a big reason for that. But now we have to talk about some additions this team has made. The biggest one is probably Nemanja Bialica. There was some controversy on his free agency, because if I remember right, he was going to go to the Sixers, but then he decided to go to the Kings at the last minute. They started him at power forward to provide more spacing, and it's working really well. He's been one of the best role players in the league. His shooting has been lights out. I think he was underused with the T-Wolves, and we're seeing now just how talented he can be as he's putting up, what, about 14, 15 points a game. He's a versatile offensive player. He's not just a three-point shooter. He can go off the dribble, and he keeps the defense honest at all times. He's been a huge piece for what the Kings have been able to do offensively. The next one is Amon Shumpert. Looking the best that he's looked in a long time, Shump has had a weird career. There have been times when he's been one of the better defensive wings and good enough offensively, and other times he's looked pretty rough. He has never seemed more sure of himself from outside than in a Kings jersey, and he's looking way more athletic. He's making a few more open court plays, cuts to the basket, and he's playing a lot of minutes. He's started a few games for them. Uh, he's just been really good. And then finally, I think this still counts as an acquisition. Their draft pick, Marvin Bagley. An interesting decision to not start him, but I think it's been the right one. Bagley's game, it is still a little awkward because he's a big dude who sometimes needs the ball. Not a great shooter, although he's shown some signs early on. But the biggest thing that we can take away from Bagley's game is that if you have him out there, he's going to do something because he's so damn athletic and he's talented enough that he's like he's going to block a shot or he's going to get an offensive rebound or he's going to beat someone off the bounce. He's going to do something in transition. And I know they got blown out in this Denver game, but he's had these kind of plays throughout the season and in the games that they've won, and they've won a decent amount of games. So shout out to the Sacramento Kings. 